welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 3, Horn of the Abyss. Gonna start a new campaign. Horn of the Abyss, under the Jolly Roger. Okay, this is a story of one pirate, mostly known as Jeremy Albatross. He never loses heart and is assured that light will always shine upon him. Even when his beloved black unicorn is lost in a catastrophe and he ends up on a desolate island without a chance to escape. Even then, he doesn't lose hope. Jeremy has been shipwrecked and has washed up on an unknown island in Pirates and Palms. To complete this scenario, capture an abandoned fort and build it into a castle. Jeremy will be limited to level 6 and will transfer to the next scenario. So it doesn't say anything about your skills and spells transferring over, but perhaps that might just be taken for granted. So, basic pathfinding, plus one attack skill of five crew modes. I can't help but always go for anything that boosts stats, and I always go with whatever the default difficulty is. The Black Wall Unicorn, yep, that's his ship. It's not the Black Pearl, it's the Black War Unicorn, or the Unicorn itself. Okay, so, let's begin. I don't think there's any voiceover, so I'll have to read out the text myself. And the very first word on this is quite the, uh... Well, I've never heard of it up until today, but... It's something about pirates being promiscuous and, uh... Sexually advanced in some sort of way. <laughs> don't ask me why. Licentious life of a pirate. Horizonless sea over. There's no way you can read that. The young pirate, Jeremy Albert, just finds death door. Do uh, desperately trying to lose the chase of a raffians, Jeremy leads but why would they do that? Right into the heart of the storm, he puts his trust into a fortune and was in complete denial of the fact that these humongous tempest waves may be overturned the ship and send it into the Dave Joe's locker how with a Oh my god. You're just gonna have to read it. I can't voice that over. That's crazy. <laughs> Why would it just... It gives you, like, no chance of being able to read that. No chance. At least Jeremy Albatross is alive, as well as a good quarter of his crew, and his faithful mate, Patris. The golden beach of an... Oh, okay. Well, we're off to a good start. I could hear the crashing waves as I sat on the sand, gazing at my left leg. It was bare, unlike the right one. My left foot had drowned in the shipwreck. My left boot. This would not do. I have to find some sandals or something. My pistol was to the right of me, full of water, and therefore useless. Should any threat appear on the horizon, my saber would be my only hope. Fortunately, it was one mighty fine blade. All the way from Regna, I had tasted plenty of enemy blood. A nearby voice spoke the silence. We managed to hunt down everything. The sea didn't wash away. I turned to see my first mate, Patris. Though he was in his forties, the old salt still possessed great skill and clear clarity of thought. Patris sat down beside me and gazed sorrowfully at the debris of the black unicorn, which drifted in pieces on the ocean tide. Soon it would wash away entirely, leaving no trace of his existence. Are we full on, Grub? I asked, hopefully hoping to get clear on the situation. Enough for a week, maybe. Hell. It may be the best that not so many lads survived the crash, grumbled my first mate. Where are we? I asked as I got up, brushing that sand from my tattered jacket. I think we're on the island somewhere between Nyon and Eofor, Patris replied, and I have a strong feeling that we are stuck, Captain. Why do you say that? I inquired. There are no human settlements over here, only barbarians and damn bloody beasts. If we don't find a place to settle within a week, we'll be overcome by famine, ammunition shortage, disease... Oh, come on, there's never been a situation Jeremy Albatross couldn't overcome, I interrupted as I turned to look at the jungle. It was a dense, dark green living mass, with which large, bright flowers bloomed, and those forest depths lurked snakes, giant mosquitoes, and other dangers. I felt like dozens of predatory eyes were staring at us from the jungle, waiting to lure us into a trap. Would Jeremy Albatross face his last days on this damn island? Hey, you rogues, I called out. Hurry up and grab all you can carry. Let's see what surprises this cursed land has prepared for us. Okay. Minus 20. Oh. So they've carried a bunch of resources, but we've lost a whole bunch. What's this? I thought it was going to be the other way around. It's like, oh, we've managed to carry four sulfur and eight mercury. Derelict ship, say goodbye to the unicorn. Jeremy, here he is. Brother of legendary Bidley. Not as harsh and lucky, 
Jeremy loves fun, brewages, and beautiful women. He has a thing for weapons and collects all the newest inventions. A shot thunder is more pleasing for him than any music. Crewmen say that he is able to kill a goal a hundred feet away from a cannon. So we have a cannon instead of a ballista. Use this war machine to target your enemy troops and fortifications in combat. Increase the attack and defense skill of any cannon by 5% for every six levels rounded up. Okay. So every six levels you get a 5% boost to it. That seems kind of rubbish. I guess basic artillery should affect my cannon. And the cannon. It also gives the ballista a 50% chance. Maybe that the cannon inflicts additional damage to fortifications. So I don't know if it gives the cannon a 50% chance to do double damage, but... We've got crewmates and pirates. They're ranged with only four shots. No melee penalty. So two to four damage, 15 health. So 15 health apiece, but a bit more damage from the pirates. Okay. A nymph waterfall. Hey, Captain, take a look. A lad yelled, beckoning to us. A waterfall cascaded down a rocky cliff, surrounded by stone statues of a woman. I'm no mage, but I sensed a magical presence here. It didn't take long before I remembered the magical creatures from the plain of water known as nymphs. Regnum mages summon them frequently for their own purposes. We might have allies in this godforsaken place, I said, smiling. What do you mean? Patris asked. Did you see those Regnum mages? Walking around in the company of female water spirits. It wasn't their good looks that got them all those beautiful women. Those little darlings are nymphs. Somebody told me that they came into this world from the plain of water. When Regnum mages opened a portal here. I said, hopping on one leg. I desperately need to find some footwear. What makes you think that they're going to help us? You don't look a mage to me. Patrice said skeptically. Patrice just calmed down. I grinned. Even my charming smile doesn't convince them. A few coins will do the trick. We've got coins? Asked Patrice in surprise. Let's try. Would you like to recruit nymphs? Creatures available for hire. 16. Okay. Teleportation and they're immune to ice. They only do one to two damage. They got four health. Fragile little things. Quite nifty though. We'll have one spare one for a combat. But it starts saving. There's a jaw, reef. Uh I've got to build up a base, so I may as well take the gold. The uh, arrows look different. The movement. Tan, you have lost your town. If you do not conquer another town in the next week, you will be eliminated. We were fighting our way through the dense, boggy jungle. I stepped carefully, trying not to cut my left foot. Damn it. When will I find myself some footwear? I could, of course, demand someone in the crew to lend me one of their boots. Who's the captain here, anyway? But I didn't want to test the battered morale of our small squad for no reason. I have to be an example to the lads. I have to show them that I, their bold captain, don't feel a thing stepping on these accursed forty lianas. Listen, Patris. Why the hell would Arathians build an outpost here? I asked, trying to distract myself from the pain in my feet and from worries about whether the last spike had been poisonous. They were exploring actively once, roaming across the seas, searching for new lands. In the war with Eofol, a Nyon broke out. Griffin Hart urgently called back many of the garrisons. Anyone left behind was forgotten. Then after the war, someone was busy restoring the kingdom and dealing with the elves and necromancers. It was obvious that my first mate was about to give me another history lesson. Why do you know all of that so well? I wasn't always a pirate captain, answered Patris with a grin. By the way, there's another spike where you're about to step. Thanks, but I saw it already. I grumbled. Barely avoiding the spike and placing my foot in a safe spot at the last moment. Do you mean to say that there may be Arathian soldiers over here? Feigning optimism, Patris replied. They weren't killed in the by the local barbarians. They may have become pirates or smugglers. This strait is a lively place after all. Okay, Jeremy. The pressure is on. Do we want to fight those? Perhaps. 20 to 49. I don't think I have that many units. 
I don't know if we want to fight range units. Ah, we have to. An arrow whistled within inches of my ear. Patrice jumped up behind a tree just in time as I quickly followed suit. It's a trap, yelled one of our boys. Thanks. I understood that this wasn't a welcoming party. Squinting, I managed to spot our culprits hidden in the undergrowth. They looked like lizards dressed in loincloths. The lizard men were standing ready with their bows, obviously not here for negotiations. They do two to three damage. I got no spells. Got good movement speed. Two, four, six, seven. So if I was there, it'd be two, four, six. So there. Two, four, six, seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> He, he couldn't reach anyway, this guy. Let's get some good morale. Doom when? What do you mean, doom when? The nice thing about playing this is I get to see some new units, new animations and stuff like that. So that'll be refreshing. Let's try these goblins. A group of wild goblins crowded near a temple, waving their spears exuberantly. They were howling in their guttural tongue, paying no attention to our party. We were just about to leave when suddenly a go goblin in a hideous mask, probably a shaman of some sort, pointed at me with his staff. He was yelling something unintelligible as the rest of the crowd turned towards us. I drew my pistol. I took my sh the shaman down with one shot, his body collapsing on the stony floor on the temple. I expected this to frighten him, but the little rascals were unfazed. Filled with a desire for vengeance, they ran towards us. Doesn't look like I'm making many friends in this. I'll take the five, because they're quite fragile. Don't think I'll do much better. Right. Let's have a look and see what terrible spell we get given. I don't know much about the pirates. I don't normally go for basic archery, especially since I've only got six slots left, so I might leave that for now. Even though that can't be nice, I guess, the pirate guys, but as usual, I'm disappointed with what I'm offered. We walked through the jungle slowly but steadily. We sent an agile sea dog in front to warn us of any ambushes. The local folk had already shown us their hospitality. Captain, Captain, the sea dog was running towards us. I thought he actually meant a so an actual dog at first. His hands and legs bloody. Report immediately. Is there an ambush up there? A fort, announced the pirate. Catching his breath, there's a fort to the north. Captain with some of them bloody knolls inside. Antics RW, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome. Uh, a fort here in these godforsaken lands, I said, astounded. Probably the old Arafian outpost, surmised Patris. Less than three. In the days of old King Griffinheart, such outposts were built on pretty much any habitable island. Interesting, I said aloud. I put my hand on the sea dog's shoulder. You wrap these wounds and rest a while. You've done well. We'll continue toward the fort and kindly ask the gnolls to find another place to settle. So, looks like we are... Did they say a large amount of ore? And they just gave me like one. The orcs look a bit different, don't they? Did they update... I think they updated the models of some of these. Because I noticed when I tested the tutorial, the uh, pikemen look different. John Ash, mm, 249. Thank you, welcome. It's alright. Ah, oh, look, there we go. Utopia. What was our spell that we Thanks learned? Thanks for making dope content. Learn cure. Did I actually go here? Or did I make that epic mistake of killing the goblins and I didn't do it, did I? Never mind. I suppose it's not a particularly impressive spell anyway. How do I get up there? Do I have to fight the orcs? I think I have to fight them. 
Damn, he wants me to lose. We kept encountering skulls impaled on stakes. I've heard that the wild orcs mark their territory that way. With this in mind, I ordered my men to ready their weapons. I'm not going to have much left. It truly was an Arafian outpost. The basic structure was still intact, but the walls were worn down and overgrown with swamp vegetation. It would need a complete overhaul. The current inhabitants cared little about such niceties. Modest creatures, these knolls were. Smoke coiled upward from somewhere deep inside the fort, and likely a cooking fire. I hate to spoil someone's dinner. Suddenly a large, huge knoll emerged right in front of me from a hole in the wall. His neck and body were covered in strange rings and bones. He was wielding a large club made out of bone from a huge animal. Abra! growled the knoll. Delighted to meet you, sir. I'm Jeremy, I answered cheerfully. Ugh, it is then. I got it, I got it. I ain't deaf, I replied, the crew chuckling behind me. The lads were enjoying our little conversation, but then the knoll let out a whining sound and raised his club. What a pity. We could have been such great friends. Needless to say, the stupid creature didn't have time to realize anything, and with one loud bang, my pistol had already sunk a bullet in his skull. Abrach fell to the ground with a sizable hole in his head. Onward, no quarter, I demanded. Tactics, maybe, but I'm gonna stick with trying to go for my classic spells. Ah. Well, looky here. That's... That's not the Arafians. Nymph, Shack, Pirates, Nest, Tower of the Seas, Sea Witches, Nyx, Sea Serpents. Hmm, that little, uh, yeah, the pirate chained up to the rock there. Derelict ship. It's that Captain Jack Sparrow's boat from the first film. It might be. You would guess that pirates use many range units. I wouldn't. That's melee. That's melee. That's range. That's flying melee. That would be range. Don't know what that is. Probably some form of melee. And that's probably a strong melee. That might be ranged. So uh, at most probably three. Maybe. Maybe two. Most likely two. Okay. So I don't think there's a tavern, is there? Nope. There is some goodies over here. But I'd have to kill some Gorgons to get to them. We're still on day four. I do indeed. Oceanids. Okay. That's a bit like genies. I'm going to take these. I'm going to come over here. And maybe I do try to take them. I don't know if I can. But yes, there would be a lot of resources and the movement speed. Unexpectedly, we spotted our scout running towards us at top speed. He flew right past me before I could even get a word in. As we scanned our surroundings in confusion, several enormous beasts leapt out from the jungle. They looked like a cross between a cow and a basilisk. Okay, I win, but not with much left. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I might attack with this one first then, I guess. So he takes the brunt. They're going to come towards me no matter what, so I can't really kite them. Damn. I was hoping that cannon would do a bit more. Battle machine shoots, attacks siege walls. 
I don't think they'll be able to kill him by themselves. But I don't want to waste the damage that I'm going to do on 26 health. So I'm just going to continue. No. I wanted them to stay where they were. Never mind. They're dead anyway. Free health, honestly. Good fight. Oh, it looks like I get a second turn. A chance for redemption. Cannon does double damage. We'll see. Did it do it in the first shot? Yeah, it did. The cannon does double damage, so it basically is uh, a ballista for all intents and purposes. It says I do 7 to 15 damage and I kill none, so that doesn't look like a good fight. Unless one of these is injured. Uh... And you're not going to kill anything. Just stand still. Here. I won't kill anything there. Good fight. If we just stand here at least. She'd do a better job of tanking. Because I don't want to lose too many units. So she can just stand in the middle. Yeah, he gets, he gets um, no penalty to his melee. Just hold the door. Hold the door. I'm going to move back, I think. And you're going to die next turn. Arr! Okay, let's go get our loot. Nothing to build up here. We need the resources. Yep. And resources we shall have. Fly me. How much now? Still barely anything. It's quite stingy. Maybe I'll go fight some Dragonfly. I can't imagine doing well first, is that? I'll go collect some more Nymphs. Does the archery work with artillery? It might do. But I think I'll, I'll refuse it, even though it probably suggests that you take that archery. I was standing on the overgrown, overgrown walls of the Arafian fort, observing my surroundings with my spyglass. Such an invaluable tool. I'm damn lucky it didn't sink with the ship. The island was much larger than I had originally assumed. It stretched far to the east, fading off in the distance. Haze. The place would be great for raids. We just have to set everything up nice and tidy, repair the outpost, build some roads, and tame the local cannibals and other abrics. I also found a new pair of high boots. No wonder. No idea where those brainless gnolls found them, but they fit me perfectly. <laughs> hey Jeremy, how are you finding the place? Yelled Patris from below. We went through the gnoll supplies and found some food and drink water. There's even a well over here. It's a nice place, I, re I replied. My ship is on the bottom of the sea, so I was going to have to become a land rat anyway. What do you think about that? Yep, I was about to suggest we drop anchor here, laughed Patris. Scratching his chin, but look. This whole place is unprepared. If the gnolls attack, we'd be slaughtered. That's why we need a real fortress with impregnable walls, traps, and strategically placed turrets. I replied, still my st spyglass in its leather case. The problem is finding the stone and wood to do all of that. I doubt there's much trade here. Captain, I suggest we scout the surroundings. If there are smugglers in this area, 
then surely they lose some of their goods once in a while. And some goblins may very well use those goods to build shelters and such. There's plenty of material here, you just have to look sharp. Feeling inspired, I descended down the old cracked stone ladder. I was afraid it would reduce to dust under my new boots, to be honest. Patrice came down too, startling me with a question. Captain, what are we going to call our fortress? Utopia, I said with a smile. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, I've got some nymphs. I'll get some more. Still nothing to do over here. There'll be no resources coming in, apart from 1,000 gold. Maybe I should continue looking up here. Our fears were justified. Late last night, a mob of gnolls and goblins armed with swords and blowpipes approached Utopia. Someone from our mob, our group, fired a musket shot and the terrified mob scattered into the forest. The locals weren't prepared, properly organised, to attack last night. But sooner or later they will gather their courage. The sooner we raise our defences, the better. Well, I'll see what I can do about that. Might be able to take those on with a bit of manipulation. And the ballista. The most unpleasant creatures in existence after wild orcs are wild ogres, and the latter are even dumber than the former. Dressed in hides with skulls hanging off their fetid clothing, these great shambling green hulks were breaking through the jungle. They could be heard from miles away. And those huge cudgels they carry can smash a human like a bed bug. That's why I advise the troops to quickly retreat to safe grounds before opening fire. There's quite a lot of them. There's a fetid swamp over here. He's only got a couple of shots left, that guy. All I have to do is kill these ones at the top and then move my army up the top. That would work. And then they can fight this if they want. And they'll never be able to kill that. Let the cannon do the tanking with its 250 health. It's basically a dragon for all intents and purposes. And I don't think it runs out of shots. Oh, it does. But it's got a lot. It's got eight shots. So, I'll be fine. Revenge. There we go. Nothing lost. Oh! How often I pick up this ability? So, so often. I'm going to pick it up with the... Yeah, with the assumption I'm going to get... Wisdom and stuff. It's one of my favourite abilities, actually, intelligence in this game. I don't think many people actually pick it up, but I think it's really good. I guess I'll get a mage guild, so at least I can cast something. Even though I should be building up the base. I definitely should go get some spells. There we go, finally. Really? What the hell's going on here? Damn, that's limiting. Wow, this is a bit harsh then, isn't it? It doesn't want me to have much opportunity. Yeah, 
There's something to hire over here, so I'm going to come down this way. Spell scroll. I don't know what those creatures are, so I won't fight them yet. A spear stuck, struck the ground right under my nose. I jumped backwards, cursing under my breath, and managed to spot another group of lizardmen sitting in the trees. I lose this one, apparently. Hmm, he doesn't like that. I'm going to go and stab him now. If you're not certain, just stab him. That cost me almost everything. Oh, it's a frigate. Oh, okay. In a frigate you can get pirates. Yar. I was sitting near the campfire last night and realized that, that two weeks had passed since the Black Unicorn had sunk. There's no greater disgrace than for a Regnan to lose his ship. Your ship reflects your status, represents you. The love I had for that vessel, so many glorious days were behind us. Even if I managed to build or steal a new ship, everyone in Regina would know it wasn't the Black Unicorn. The rumors would spread. Jeremy Albatross has been stripped of his manhood. His old tub has sunk low. And now he floats around in his wooden dinghy. What a loser. But it's a bit early to be thinking about my return to Regina. I should find my older brother, Bidley. He may be one hell of a swindler, but he wouldn't spread rumours about me. I'd have to ask him as a brother to find me a new ship, a better one than the Black Unicorn, so that those gossipers from Regina would think I had swapped my old ship for a new one. Great idea. I do love myself for a gift of finding myself out of situations. It's true what my mother said. Bidley got the wits while I got the luck. Hard to say which is more important. So this guy's all about the RNG. We came upon human footprints in the sand. With high hopes, we followed the path, eventually finding a smuggler's hideout. They were unloading something from a boat. Then they spotted us. They appeared startled. But the sabers came up quickly. Captain, don't kill them all, whispered Patris. Just kill the hot-headed ones and maybe the others will join you. Hmm. Water magic almost feels like it would be quite well suited for this whole sort of sea theme, but I don't get it yet. <gasps> Day seven. Oh man, could I do that again somehow? Look at that. Oh. Value. I'll go... Wow, there's a horde of them now. I was going to fight them, but I'm not so sure. Oh, okay. They must be completing our pushovers. What the hell? That's oh, because they're stacked quite high. Oh, they are. They're the upgrades of nymphs. Right. Lol. I thought they were going to be strong or something. Learn a second level spell. Oh, I can do that. There's a lot of resources here. I think I should take these on. Let's get the second level spell. Ugh. Weakness. I thought you were going to give me something interesting. Oh, good. I lost some more resources. One of the guards approached me on the look of his face showing disappointment and reluctance. Go on, tell me what happened. Captain, Jeremy, we have a problem with the savages. Those cowards snuck into the fort during the night and grabbed everything that 
glittered. At least they didn't have enough wit to take our wooden stone. All right, I say, and I hope next time they drag away those good-for-nothing guards and cook them over the bonfire. There was a loud stir coming from the jungle, fueled by curiosity. Some of the crew and I went to investigate as we moved in closer. This sound seemed to be coming towards us. I was about to command the group to turn around when suddenly a barrage of mosquitoes flew out of the jungle, each with the size of a girl. I barely managed to unsheath my shaver. What's this, Lunak? You remember playing this? How are you playing this? Do I have a CD? No, good old games. Actually, no, this is downloaded. You just download it online. It's, yeah, it's a free mod expansion. I'll take that. That's not a bad fight. Good fight, bro. I might go for experience now. I don't think I'm doing too much more with that gold. Should I get the nymphs? Nah. That's too much faffing about. What I could do is get set up for another... Now let's come up here. Did I learn? Oh yeah, it was weakness. Lol. Captain! Come here quick! Patris called excitedly. I approached my mate and found him on my knees, on his knees, examining something on the wet ground. He was positively beaming, which was very odd. Patrick's not the type who greets you with a wide smile on his face. There are wagon traces here. Captain, he explained, somewhere on this island, there are people of creatures smart enough to use wagons. Good news indeed, I agree. We'll have to be careful to scout the island once we're set up here. Something tells me we have plenty of adventures ahead. The mercenary captain stepped forward. What the hell? That is, this is our secret in Cameron. Nobody knows of it. Guys, relax, I said. Me and the lads are merely exploring the island. I will relax you permanently. I'll have the swashbuckler. Draw his sword. Those are spells. That dim dare spells. Yar! It's good to know you enjoyed it. I should have waited before taking another shot there. Slim. Might do that thing where I just let this guy tank again. And I sacrifice those. Over. Hmm. Nah. Oh well, I'll pull him over. If he wants to go over there to kill him, fair enough. What if the if that reti if that um retaliated, that would be funny. Hey, I take the pathfinder. We're gonna be. We're going to have the boggy lands. So, wisdom, earth magic, logistics, air. But the air is up in the air, literally. Ruined fountain. Hmm. That's kind of cool. I'll take it. I didn't know I was so close to my experience, I was I would have taken the goal, but anyway, good dry wood has been meticulously stored in the Knoll's camp. Who knows why they didn't burn it? That doesn't really matter. It will be of great use for our construction. So, as you go through this level, you'll get just enough wood to build this into a fort, and then that should finish the level, I assume. Access denied. Password required. A voice boomed from within the iron statue. The presence of these creatures on the island warned me from the beginning. I think the stone skin came from the spell scroll that I got from the upgraded nymphs. The Oceaniuses. From the beginning. I assume they were golems, possibly guarding something valuable. Captain, it looks like the guard of the old storehouse of some kind. Sad, said Patris, pointing over the golems' backs. Surely there's a lot of booty in there. Password not given. Trespasser will be killed. Boomed. The iron... God, Jaren. Hmm. So glowy. 
Jeremy from my deliberations. Suddenly the guards attacked. We can do this with a bit of careful manipulation. Dun -dun. That guy is just like charges in, doesn't he? He's completely keen for the fight. Hmm, the range on that guy. The audacity. They don't half hate that. You had your chance to stab him earlier. That cutlass. Shots will be nice. Don't think it's going to be pleasant to fight a bunch of rocks. Pearson screeched down at the us, looking up. I spotted huge predatory birds circling over us. I don't know what we looked like to them, but whether men or mice, we had to be prepared for a sudden attack. Ah, okay. They took out my um, first aid tent. Apparently they got a problem with that. Ah, stone skin didn't do much for him then. They hate that cannon. Love it. No! I think that was the same result, so I couldn't really defer it. Grotto? The grotto allows you to sacrifice creatures or artifacts in exchange for experience. Oh, that's cool. So, you, are these guys evil? Or do they just get that option? Because remember, in the Heroes of Might Magic 3, it's the evil guys that can sacrifice units. I think I'll go down and up. I would not expect to see mages here, but that structure towering over the jungle, I've seen those on Brocada's coast before. But here, Patris jabbed my arm, and wouldn't you know it? It turned to see some mages appear out of thin air. One of them yelled, aha, Malcolm wasn't brave enough to show himself up, so he sent pirates. But we will not reveal our secrets. Who the hell is Malcolm? Well, I don't think we'll have time to explain ourselves. Oh, definitely took a few hits there, killing those ones. Right. This level is, yeah, pretty well balanced because it's, it's it's not easy to speed through this, is it? But it's, uh, it's a small level, but it's kept me busy. What could be worse than giant carnivorous fireflies living near the river? Perhaps that we were never said near said river? Perhaps that said fireflies were looking at us? I managed to shoot a few of them down, but it did not deter the rest of them. Komodo hype. Uh, Paris, I don't care. It's all about the gold. How old is this game? I don't know how old Hota is, like when Hota was created. Uh, 
and just maybe defend with this guy. And shoot down the rest of these. Okay, maybe I'll attack instead. As long as they're weak Komodo hypes around my ballista, I shouldn't lose that. I just, I do need to defend though, so I don't die. Hey! Cut it out. I can always buy another one of these though. Well, wow, that wasn't so bad. There you go. We can get our fort now, basically. Or it's carefully done so that the last piece of wood is up there. The only thing I didn't learn was cure, wasn't it? Eh, I think I got everything else, though. A large ogre bearing an axe came towards us. He wore chainmail and a black eye patch. Did you come for, for, for your friends? He ground. What friends? I relied in surprise. Collar's band. We captured their hideout and its treasures. And we're about to fill it up a little more with your goods. The ogre grinned menacingly. My dear friend, I have no idea what band you're talking about. But if you want to take our goods, you'll have to take them from our corpse. Again, the ballista's going to have to carry me hard here. Curse will be strong on these guys. Don't I have a market? Oh yeah, that's true. I do actually have a market. Why is that then? Because you think the whole level was designed around trying to get that you know, last piece of lumber which these guys are guarding. And I don't think you can spend lumber. Waste it. Oh, you can actually. You can spend it on the grotto. I think. How do I so that's answer? why. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. Keep doing what you do, mate. Well, that's conflicting, isn't it, Smurf? I think I'm in trouble here. I'm going to have to move him up to the top and shoot these guys. I think I'd be better off actually putting a curse on them than putting stone skin on him. Just in case they go for him. Alright, that'll do. He could just walk over here. Put a curse on anyone, any of these that are surrounding that. And attack the healthier looking ones that might be able to chase me down. That one will be able to hit me. Ah, I got lucky. Ah, we were okay. You're okay. Yeah. That'll do it. Oh, there you go. Storm birds. Caca. Oh, they don't do much damage, do they? They're a bit like, um... Oh, what are they called? They're Pegasi. Pegasi. Kind of like weak, weak source. There's the sea witches, though. I suppose I'd rather have stronger range units than, um, flying units. Oh, that Nyx looks tough. That serpent. Now, that's some Komodo hype. Definitely looks melee to me. Got a huge range of damage. You get blessed on that guy. It's basically a more mobile Hydra without the ability to attack multiple targets at once, I guess. 10 to 14 damage, 35. It's 
fairly respectable, but it could be better on the Sea Witches. Hopefully they got a cool spell or something. These guys are pretty, pretty okay, I think. Dunno, they seem kind of like, maybe they are quite balanced in that sense that they don't seem too OP, any of it. That should be it, shouldn't it? Capture an abandoned fort and build it into a castle. Oh, I see. Okay, and then let's get your cure as well. If you're... If that's what you're working towards. If you get enough units, you can just sacrifice them, can't you? Oh, it builds up the nymphs that are available for hire, at least on that one. It's 48. Dynafix, thank you very much. 10, 10. 5k. That'll do it. Congratulations, you have successfully upgraded your town and can claim victory. Yar.